Hi, I'm Jesus Campos, and I'm running to serve as president of the Texas Library Association. I am honored and humbled to have had this opportunity uh, to be nominated, and if elected, I, com I will commit time and effort to help TLA deliver on those expectations that are important to you, our members. But first, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I've been a librarian for about 20 years, working in academic, public, and special libraries. I have been an academic librarian for about nine years and currently serve as Dean of Library and Learning Support Services at South Texas College. I've been active as a TLA member for several years, serving on numerous committees, units, and task forces ranging from district level work to service on the executive board. I belong to several professional associations, but TLA is the best. What makes TLA special in my view is that it brings together library professionals of all types and uh, all over the state under one umbrella. The value that TLA places on the unity of Texas libraries as, is one that I share. It creates opportunities for librarians uh, and friends of libraries to meet and develop professional relationships and learn from one another and become uh, a strong form force for the good of libraries. There is much that Texas libraries have in common. Libraries are that third place between home and work or school where people gather and, and knowledge and often entertainment and fun happen. Our libraries are portal to knowledge discovery and creation. And in as much as uh, we provide equitable and lifelong access to information Texas libraries serve as incubators for an informed and engaged uh, society. My candidacy would promote these roles of libraries as priorities for how TLA supports Texas libraries. TLA is a strong association with over 6,000 members. We have good reason to be proud of this. However, there are several library professionals in the state who are not currently members of TLA. Using 2016 figures, approximately 46% of school librarians were TLA members, about 39% of public librarians were members, and only about 19% of academic librarians were members of TLA. The reasons for this vary, and TLA is studying uh, this question. If elected, I will follow through, or I will work with TLA uh, leadership to follow through on the recommendations of the TLA Membership Growth Task Force to increase membership and improve member engagement. If elected, I will work with TLA leadership and staff to highlight and promote ways in which TLA provides value to our members. If elected, I, re I will uh, collaborate uh, with respective TLA units and staff and our members to make sure that those that make decisions that affect Texas libraries are informed about the role and the value of Texas libraries about your interests as TLA members and about the interests of those we serve. TLA is committed to expanding opportunities for participation to all members. I realize that participation can be more difficult at times for members in less populated, populated areas of the state. I will work with TLA leadership and staff to encourage statewide participation in the activities of the association. For several years now, TLA has identified diversity and inclusion as one of its core values uh, and I, I believe that this is an important core value that I would like to continue to see uh, pursued and I would ensure that TLA is an association uh, where anyone is, that is affiliated with a Texas library can feel welcome as a member and can find opportunities for professional growth throughout their library career. TLA is our association. It is the best state library association in the country, and together we can make it even stronger. I would like to thank my colleagues at the college for their support. I would also like to thank those of you who have shown your support and encouragement. Finally, I would like to ask for your votes and the opportunity to serve, as, to serve you as TLA president.